Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for your patience as well. On behalf of our parish community, we would like to thank you for coming to Confirmation Mass today. We are grateful to have Bishop Casson with us today to confer the Sacrament of Confirmation on 64 or approximately 65 young people today. We do have a few suggestions to please allow for the ceremony to run smoothly. So out of respect for the mask, we ask that you please refrain from taking photos during mass. You will have an opportunity to take photos of the candidates as they are coming uh, in entrance to the procession and at the closing of the procession. We ask that you please turn off your cell phones as well. We encourage everyone to fully participate in the Eucharistic celebration. And uh, we ask during communion time, please remain seated until the ushers direct you to your communion station. At the end of Mass, the newly confirmed students will process ahead of the bishop and will go directly towards the parking lot side where photos can take place. Uh, it will start pew by pew from the front rows. We ask that everyone please exit from the back side of the church and not on the entrance of the sides. Parents, please meet your children outside afterwards for a group photo with the bishop. Thank you all for joining us in this celebration. Please take your seats as Mass is presided by Reverend, Reverend Bishop Ke Cashin is about to begin. Please stand for our opening hymn to the Holy Spirit. O oh, breathe on me, O oh, breath of God, is found in your gather book number 902. O oh, breathe on me, O oh, breath of God, is 902.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Good evening, everyone. How wonderful it is for me to be here this evening at this beautiful Our Lady of Lourdes Catholic Church to celebrate the sacrament of confirmation for this huge group of young parishioners of this parish. So welcome to all the candidates, their sponsors, their parents, and uh, other family members. I'm delighted to be able to celebrate this sacrament with my brother priest, Father Bougwa, and uh, with the parish community. Confirmation is the sacrament of God, the Holy Spirit. During this Mass, may each one of us pray that the Holy Spirit will descend upon each of these young people and to become alive in their life so that they may be the faithful witnesses that Jesus asks us to be. And of course, as always, at the outset of Mass, with humility and contrition, we acknowledge our sins and asking God and neighbor for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit, coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Would you please be seated for the liturgy of the word. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, He is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring just, he'll bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Oh, Lord, my God, you are very great. Oh, Lord, how manifold are your works. The earth is full of your creatures. Oh, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. Oh, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Oh, send out your the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. May my meditation be pleasing to him. For I rejoice in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the Send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Here is my servant, whom I uphold my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put up my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth to Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. Have you been seated? And those to be confirmed, please stand. Dear Most Leveled Bishop Kasun, the parish of Our Lady of Lords is honored by your presence. We present to you our sons and daughters who are candidates for the sacrament of confirmation under the guidance of their parents, guardians, and catechists, and with the prayer for support and encouragement of this parish community, they have prepared for this sacrament of Christian initiation, which was begun at their baptism. I ask you to impose hands upon them and anoint them with a sacred chrism, sealing them with the gift of the Holy Spirit. We pray that their participation in this Holy Eucharist, with all of us assembled here, will strengthen them as faithful witness to Christ. Upon your recommendation, Father Bugwa, I wish to announce to the congregation assembled here tonight that it is my privilege and honor to offer the sacrament of confirmation to this beautiful group of young people from Our Lady of Lourdes Parish. And I ask the sponsors, parents, and everyone who is here, if you would join me in showing our support and our encouragement of these young people through our applause. My dear young people, have you had your supper yet? No? Yes? Okay, well, I'll I'll keep it short. Would you please be seated for an hour or two? (laughs) As we were in the procession outside preparing for the Mass, I passed by all the candidates and said to several, are you nervous? And some said, "Uh uh-huh. Others said, no, no, no. So, I don't want you to be nervous. Do I look like I will bite you? I want you to relax and enter into the beauty of this Mass. It is beautiful. And it is a special day for you and your families and for this parish. One reason why today is beautiful is because God, the Holy Spirit, is coming into your life in a new and different way tonight. And when you stop to think about it, that's rather thrilling. God is coming to you. It is as if God is saying to you 
as he said to Jesus, as you heard in the Holy Gospel, you are my beloved sons and daughters. With you, I am well pleased. You may or may not agree with that statement, believing that God is well pleased with you. But I will assure you that God is, regardless of mistakes or sins you may have committed in the past. After all, we are all human, and therefore we are all inclined to sin from time to time. But that's why God sent his son Jesus into the world to reconcile us to the Father through his death on the cross. And through his resurrection from the dead, Jesus demonstrated that God, in the person of Jesus, is more powerful than the power of who is the divine power, the divine energy that you need in order to be faithful disciples of Jesus. The other questions, there are five of them, I think are a little bit easier. So when I ask you the questions, you have to get the right answers. Otherwise, we all go home, no party, no supper, nothing. You go right to bed on a hot night. So you've got to get the right answers. But I'll tell you, there's one answer for all five questions. One answer, repeated five times. And the answer is real simple. It's impossible to forget it. Two words. That's it. The answer is, I do. That's it. I do. That's not the same as the I do when you get married. Different I do. Okay? So you don't need to rush into marriage. Wait till at least next weekend before you get into that one. I'm sure your parents will agree with me. No need to rush into that. Then you will renew your belief in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and in the church, which is not sinless. Christ is sinless. The members of the church are not. But it is the means to grow in holiness. Candidates, are you ready for the renewal of your baptismal promises? Candidates, just the candidates, if you would please stand once again for your commitment. Now, when I ask the questions, you already know the answer, I do. So I'll say, do you reject Satan and all his evil works? If you say, I do. I do. I think you. I'll say, no, you don't. No, no, that's not good enough. When I say, do you reject sin and Satan? What I want to hear is, I do. And if it's not loud enough, I'll say, people in the back, did you hear them? And they might say, no, we, we didn't hear them. Were they saying something, Bishop? So then we'll try it again. Say it like you mean it. Here we go. First question. Dear candidates for confirmation, I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? I do. What do you think? People in the back, did you hear them? I think they did. Okay, good. Now that was the hardest one. The next one, in my opinion, is much easier. I hope you agree. Here it is. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth? I do! Wow! Sends shivers up and down my spine. Beautiful. 
Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Oh, you're getting better and better. We go, I we're going to be here all night. That's great. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church throughout the world, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. I Beautiful. Now remember what you've said. Okay? Not just tonight, but you've said, I do, loudly and clearly. So I encourage you to keep on saying, I do. Now listen to this beautiful prayer that concludes this section. Short prayer. I'll read it to you. In my mind, it's one of the most beautiful prayers ever written. Listen. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Beautiful, isn't it? Key word? Proud. We are proud to profess our faith. Are you proud of your faith, your Catholic faith? No? Parents, godparents, grandparents, sponsors, are you proud of your faith? Okay. It's not easy. Sometimes it's really hard to stand up in public for your faith. Sometimes people will mock you and ridicule you and think of you as old-fashioned because you are believers. And because of a lot of sin and evil in the church, including the priests and the bishops, you're going to want to hide the fact that you're a Catholic. You're going to want to run away and pretend that you're not a Catholic. It's not easy to be proud of your faith, but it is the value that is most important for you, in spite of the sinfulness of people. So, dear friends, please continue, as you are tonight, to be proud of your faith, and you will not be disappointed. Now, I would like to invite Father Bugwa to accompany me here at the foot of the altar, and I'd like to ask the congregation if you would kindly stand as we invoke the Holy Spirit now at this minute to come down upon the candidates for confirmation. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these, your servants, to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin. Send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety, and fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now is the time for your confirmation. Here's how it works if you need a review. You will be asked to come down the center aisle, one at a time, right in front of me. You don't need to be afraid. Come fairly close but not bumping into me, and with your sponsor behind you. And that will be the moment of your confirmation when I say these words, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit, 
as I anoint you on the forehead with the holy oil called chrism. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Beautiful. And you have to respond. What do you say? Amen. Then the ritual book says, the bishop and the candidate shake hands. Uh-oh. What do we do now? Are we still in COVID or aren't we? Who knows? <laughs> so I'll tell you what. I will say, peace be with you, and you will respond, and with your spirit. I'll hold out my hand. If you wish to shake, say, and with your spirit. If you're a little bit hesitant about touching, then you can do like we did at the beginning of COVID. Do you remember? We would shake hands in a different way. Do you remember? Peace be with you. <laughs> OK? You can do it that way if you wish. So then once that occurs, it is your confirmation is completed. I have to be able to read your name. You wear, make sure you got your name tag and that is visible so I can see it. So let us begin with the first candidate for confirmation. Adam, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Congratulations, Adam. Did it hurt? No? Oh, OK. You're confirmed. You can return. Adrienne, Adrienne, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. With your spirit. <laughs> You're confirmed. Adrienne, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Congratulations, Adrienne. Alec. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, Alec. Congratulations. Alexandra, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Congratulations. Alexis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, Alexis. Nika, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Congratulations. Alan, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you. Congratulations. Brandel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Come, Peace Holy Ghost, you, Brandel. Five, Thank you. five, nine. Come, Holy Ghost, Bryce. five, be Five, sealed with the nine. gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you. Congratulations. Cedric, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Congratulations, Cedric. Cheyenne, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. And in our hearts they come. Thank you. Congratulations. 
gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Holy Ghost, to the alone, the Holy Father and the Son, thank you. Congratulations. the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, Jan. You're confirmed. Congratulations. Joanard, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Congratulations. You're confirmed. John, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, John. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
Spirit. Peace be with you. You're confirmed. Congratulations. Rhea, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, Rhea. Congratulations. Thank you. Raziel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, Rupert. Thank you. You're confirmed. Chamaran, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thank you. You're confirmed. John, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you, John. Thank you. Congratulations. Sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, Creator blessed, let me in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to feel the hearts which thou hast made. To feel the Congratulations to all the candidates. You're now called the Confirmandi. You did a wonderful job, every one of you. Thank you. So let us once again. <laughs> Would everyone please rise for the prayers of the faithful. Brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to God, the Almighty Father, and be of one mind in our prayer, just as faith, hope, and charity, which proceed from the Holy Spirit, are one. For though these, his servants, whom the gift of the Holy Spirit has confirmed, that planted in faith and grounded in love, 
they may bear witness to Christ the Lord by their way of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For their parents and sponsors, that by word and example, they may continue to encourage those whom they have sponsored in the faith to follow in the footsteps of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the Holy Church of God, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the bishops, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, the church may grow and increase in unity of faith and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that all people who have one maker and father may acknowledge one another as brothers and sisters without discrimination of race or nation, and with sincere hearts seek the kingdom of God, which is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, hear the petitions of your people. Grant to us these things we ask of you in faith, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Would you please be seated for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Okay. Our offertory hymn is Ave Maria in your gather 891. Ave Maria is 891.
temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Our communion hymn is Spirit Blowing Through Creation, number 555. Spirit Blowing Through Creation is 555.
Spirit blowing through creation, Spirit burning in the skies. Let the hope of your salvation fill our lives. God of splendor, God of glory, you who light the stars above, all the heavens tell the story of your As you moved upon the waters, as you ride upon the wind, move us all your sons and daughters if we As you shake the hills and mountains, for the land and fill the deep, let your hand renew and waken all who sleep. Spirit renewing the earth, renewing the hearts of all people. Burning the weary souls, blow through the silent lips, go now and wake us. Spirit of God. That sings the rivers dancing, love the waters all that lives, love the hills and hope that rouses and forgives. You are food for all your creatures, you are hunger in the soul, in your hands the broken hearted are made whole. you have fashioned all the live and breathe in you find their hope in your compassion strong and true you are spirit of salvation you are long beneath our body come renew your whole creation in your love spirit
Please join us in singing the prayer for peace in your gather number 821. Prayer for peace is 821. The final announcement before the final prayer. The bishop said he would keep us for two hours and he kept to his word. I would like to take this time to thank Bishop Kasun for coming tonight and celebrating the sacrament of confirmation with us. And let us give thanks to Bishop Kasun for coming. We have already sent his gift, and it's on the mail, and it will arrive to you by tonight, Bishop. I want to thank the teachers who have worked with the students uh, very graciously. Luz, uh, Susan, Simon, the Jesuit scholastics who are not here with us, 
Juan, Alejandra, and Joan, and Richard, who represented the office staff. I thank you, parents, the sponsors, and the students for allowing us to be part of your journey of faith. Thank you also to all those who helped to make this uh, celebration uh, fruitful, the order servers, the music, Mario, the welcome us, and everyone else. Just a reminder, we will process as we came in a little bit faster, beginning with the conformandis, and please go right away to the front of the church by the parking lot, and that's where the bishop will graciously take a photo of the group with us, and then anyone else who wants to take a, a picture with the bishop, you have the rest of the evening to, to do that. But the, the pictures will begin with the group, and then uh, we will follow the individual photos. So please rise up uh, for the final prayer. I also wish to extend my gratitude to Father Bugwa and to the confirmation preparation team here at Lourdes for the wonderful preparation that you have offered to the confirmandi. Thank you. Let us pray. <clears throat> yeah. Just a reminder, we have your certificates and as you bring your gowns back, you will get your certificate in the hall. So you take the picture, then go to the hall, and Richard and Simone and Luz will be ready with your certificate. You give them the gown, they'll give you the certificate. Thank you. Fair trade. Accompany with your blessing from this day forward, O Lord, those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that, with all trials overcome, they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity foster her growth in the world through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May the peace of God, which is beyond all our human understanding, keep your minds and hearts in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace and joy. Thanks, Thanks to God. be to God. Say, I'm going
Yeah. 